Hi, I'm Crescent and welcome to my garden. Today we are going to be planting in our new garden bed that we built. I believe in episode... So I will link that down below if you wanna check out that episode. If you haven't done so yet, please like and subscribe. Also, while I'm planting, I'm going to tell you about the worst day of my life. So let's get started. I've already pre-dug my holes and I've added some worm castings. I love my worm casting. And I've added some organic garden tone. My life was about a little over eight years ago. I had had a mastectomy and reconstruction and the reconstruction just wasn't a very good job. It was high, it was kind of in my armpit, it was very uncomfortable. So I didn't like it. It was just ugly. It made me feel gross. I didn't want to wear a swimming suit because it was so lopsided. So I decided to talk to a different surgeon. He said, yeah, I think you would be a great candidate for the DIEP flap. So that is where they cut you um, on your lower abdominal area and they take all your tissue, fat, and blood vessels. Just, they take everything. And then they cut it out and they open you up here and they attach the blood vessels. And so I thought that would be great. It would be natural. So he said, well, I'm gonna need you to um, do a few tests. And I said, well, what's the test for? And he said, well, it's to make sure that your blood vessels in your chest weren't damaged too much by the radiation you had during your treatment for cancer. So I said, okay. So I get the test a couple weeks later, he calls me and he says, but you're great. So I make an appointment. This is like November, uh, right before Thanksgiving. And I'm really excited, like super excited. I go and I have the surgery. So I wake up, I stick my hand through the gown and I don't feel anything. And so I say to the nurse, I remember, hey, nurse, where's my boob? And she said, they couldn't do the surgery and your doctor's gonna come in and talk to you. So I went, okay. So he comes in after I'm, you know, awake and everything and he says, well, it didn't go like we thought it was gonna go. And I said, yeah, and he goes, yeah, um, your blood vessels didn't line up. And I was like, well, I th we did the test. You said it was fine. And he said, well, um, that test isn't always accurate. That would have been nice to know before I, you know, ventured into this uh, surgery. So then he says, we're gonna have you heal up and then we can talk about some other options for your surgery. There I am in the hospital by myself, Thanksgiving day, no boob, and I'm depressed. I left the hospital two days later, went home, started healing, started feeling really good. If you've ever had like a major surgery and they open you up, they, they put these drains in you. Okay, so I had, you know, one in my pubic area and I had two in my chest. And then all of a sudden it was, I think December 10th or two and a half weeks or something like that later. I go to my work Christmas party and I'm having so much fun and my palms of my hands just really started to itch. And I was like, what the heck? Why are my palms so itchy? I mean, both of them just itchy, itchy. And so I had a good time and I went home from the party. I went to Costco, got a few things that we needed. And then I came home and I put the groceries away. And then all of a sudden I felt so sick. Like I had the full blown flu, body aches, chills, uh, a fever. And I told Mark, I said, oh, I think I have the flu. I'm gonna go to bed. And so Mark's my husband. And so I went and laid down still didn't feel good later that night. And I said to Mark, I said, something's wrong. Uh, and, and I had been throwing up and throwing up and 
and I couldn't keep anything down. And so I said, something's wrong. I, I wanna go to the emergency room. I think I need an IV. I think I'm dehydrated. So I went to the emergency room and told them that I just had surgery on my chest and my lower abdominal just a little over two weeks ago. And I told them that I was in pain, a lot of pain, and that my body was achy and that I had a fever and that I was sweating and I had the chill. I'm pretty sure they thought that I was a drug addict going through withdrawals. Talked to the doctor and I told him, hey, yeah, I don't feel good, blah, blah, blah. So they basically gave me an IV, gave me some anti-nausea medication, and then um, I lost an okra plant. Where's my okra plant? There it is. I was there probably for about three and a half hours. I was feeling okay. I went home and got in bed. Not even two hours later, same thing. Just super sick. I'm in the bathroom, just laying on the floor in a fetal position. Oh man, I just, see, even good gardeners do this. I just snapped the tomato. This makes me sad, people. This just is crappy. I've been growing this thing probably for about seven weeks now. This is crappy. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Decide to go to my doctor's office. We get there and they know me really well. I've had the same doctor for 16 years now and I love him. He's amazing. And um, so him and his medical assistant look at me and they're like, oh, something's wrong with you. What's wrong? And I was like, I am so, so sick. He says, well, what's going on? And I tell him and he's like, okay, well, I'm going to have you undress and I want to look at your incisions. I said, it's all bandaged though. And he's like, it's okay. So I take my bandage off and I have a patch this big of the most rustiest red color right on my chest. And he's like, you have an infection and it's a bad infection. And I said, well, I went to the ER last night and they didn't even look at it. So my doctor said, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a shot of antibiotic in your butt. I'm gonna give you some pain medicine. And if you don't feel better tonight, you call me and I'll meet you at the emergency room and I will admit you to the hospital because this could be really serious. I got home, I took a nap, uh, I got up and I still felt terrible. And I got up to try to eat something and I just threw it up. I, I started to shake really bad, just all over shaking. And so we called my doctor and we went to the ER. Surprisingly, the same nurse uh, was at the ER and who thought I was a drug addict to the night before. And he looked at me and he's like, oh, it's you again. And I was like, yeah, I have an infection. My doctor's gonna meet me here and admit me to the hospital and I want some pain medicine. I'm not very nice when I am in pain. And so he looked at me and left the room. And the doctor came in and he get, starts an IV in me and they start giving me um, some nausea medicine and some pain medicine. We gotta plant our cucamelons. Okay, I'm just bringing you in a little closer to plant the cucamelons on this beautiful little tower trellis. Let's look at that cucamelon. I'm gonna trellis this up um, as much as I can. So we head to the hospital. I get all checked in and I'm in a lot of pain. And they take me to my room, but they can't prescribe anything to me yet until they like get the okay to do that. I'm sure it was really hard for my husband to watch me um, be in so much pain, but I was probably there an hour and a half before I received any kind of IV or medication. They started me on some antibiotics and they had a surgeon come in, a breast surgeon, and he came in and he's like, yeah, I've got some appointments, blah, blah, blah. I can probably fit you in, you know, tomorrow or, or something. Like it was no big deal. I'm in the hospital feeling better and I start feeling bad again. And I had some friends come and they brought me some candy and I was all excited because I love chocolate. All of a sudden, I just started feeling worse than before. The surgeon comes in and he's like, 
her kidneys are starting to shut down and if we don't take her into surgery now, um, she'll have to be on dialysis for the rest of her life. If you wanna hear the rest of this, you'll have to stick around for part two. Till next time, my friends, get your hands dirty. Plant love, grow hope, and harvest peace.